Hi friends, now let us discuss a question which is related to the topic of two complement representation of a number from the chapter number systems and codes of digital circuit subject. This is an excellent question which is asked in gate 1999 in instrumentation branch. First let us read the question. You can see the question on the board. A number in 4 bit two complement representation is x3, x2, x1, x0. This number when stored using 8 bits will be option A, 4 zeros, x3, x2, x1, x0. Option B, 4 ones, x3, x2, x1, x0. Option C, 4 times x3, then x3, x2, x1, x0. Option D, 4 times x3 bar, and then x3, x2, x1, x0. Here he has given a 4 bit num a number. Here he has represented a number in 2's complement representation with 4 bits like this x3, x2, x1, x0. He has represented a number in 2's complement representation with 4 bits. Okay, in 2's complement representation, x3 will be what? Sign bit. If it is 0, which will be a positive number. If it is 1, it indicates negative number. Right? Okay. Now, he wants to store this number, same number, with 8 bits. Okay. How we can store? Okay. Among the given choices, one of the options will be correct one. Okay. Now, let us understand first, for positive number, how we can represent. If we are having a number with 4 bits in 2's complement representation, now let us represent the same number in 8 bits for positive number. And then we will analyze for negative number. Okay. From those two cases, we will get the generalized expression or representation for this question. Okay. Fine. Now, I am considering plus 5. 5 we can represent as 101. 3 bits are required. Okay. Here I am having positive sign. So that means I will put sign bit as 0. Okay. Representation of positive numbers is same in all the three forms. That is sign magnitude form, 1's complement and 2's complement form. Yes or no? See here, sign bit is 0 which indicates positive number and remaining bits give the magnitude. Remaining bits give the magnitude. This is the same representation for positive numbers in sign magnitude form, 1's complement and 2's complement. Okay, that means 0, 1, 0, 1 is the 2's complement representation of plus 5. Okay. Here we have used 4 bits. We have represented plus 5 in 4 bits. Okay. In 2's complement representation. Okay. Now let us represent the same plus 5 in 2's complement form with 8 bits. See here, you are having sign bit 0. Okay. I will put 4 times 0 and then I will write this one as it is. 0, 1, 0, 1. Here in this case, 0. Sign bit 0 indicates positive number and remaining bits give the magnitude. Here what is the magnitude? 5. So that means I am representing the same number plus 5 in 2's complement form with 8 bits. Here, sign bit is 0, the same 0 I have placed 4 more times to the left of this particular number. The equivalent value will not change. Because here sign, is, sign bit is 0, here also sign bit is 0, which indicates positive number. Remaining bits give the magnitude. Okay, in order to get the same magnitude, I have put these 3 bits as zeros. Okay, right. Now, this is for positive number. Now, let us analyze for negative number. So here I am writing minus 5. Minus 5 is nothing but 2's complement of plus 5. 2's complement of plus 5. Okay. Here we are having plus 5 in 2's complement representation like this. Okay. Take this value and then do 2's complement. 2's complement of 
जीरो वन जीरो वन टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज नथिंग बट वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस वन ओके यू कैन अप्लाई वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू दिस वन एंड देन एड वन ओके यू कैन फॉलो अदर मेथड इन ऑर्डर टू डायरेक्टली राइट द टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए बाइनरी नंबर ओके स्टार्ट फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके टिल यू गेट फर्स्ट टाइम वन कॉपी ऑल द बिट्स एज इट इज सी हियर इन द फर्स्ट बिट इट सेल्फ आई एम गेटिंग वन सो आई विल कॉपी दैट बिट एज इट इज सपोज इफ दिस बिट इज जीरो दिस बिट इज वन आई विल कॉपी दीज टू बिट्स एज इट इज लाइक दैट टिल यू गेट फर्स्ट टाइम वन आई विल कॉपी ऑल द बिट्स एज इट इज फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड टू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ओके फाइन एंड देन कॉम्प्लीमेंट रिमेनिंग ऑल द बिट्स here zero is there zero complement is one one complement is zero zero complement is one so that means here one zero one one is the two's complement representation of minus 5 one zero one one is the two's complement representation of minus 5 here just observe sign bit is one which indicates what natal number sign bit is one which indicates natal number now if you wanted to know the equivalent value of this one Whether it is minus five or not, let us see. If you are having less number of bits, okay, you can put the position weights here, and then you can do the simplification. You will get the equivalent value. See here, position weights are two power zero, two power one, two square, two cube. Here sine bit is one, so that means it is a native number, right? So I will put minus. Here sine bit is one, which indicates native number. so i will put minus 2 this particular positional weight okay so minus 2 cube is nothing but minus 8 plus 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so minus 8 plus 3 equal to minus 1 so if you are having less number of bits you can put the positional weights like this and if the sign bit is 1 you put minus in front of that particular positional weight and then do the add those weights Okay, and then simplify. You'll get direct value. Okay, if you are having more number of bits, then do one second two's complement. Okay, you'll get this number. If you apply one second two's complement to this one, here I am having LSB. Here this bit itself I am having one. So I will copy that bit as this. That means this one I am getting. Okay, and then complement all the bits, remaining all the bits. So here zero one zero, zero one zero. Here sine bit is zero, and the remaining bits will give the magnitude. Okay, since here sine bit is one, okay, you have to put minus in front of that number. Okay, here you will get five, so in front of five you have to put minus because here sine bit is one. Okay, so in this way you can find out if the more number of bits are there, you apply one second two's complement, and you will get suppose this is the native number, right? If you apply two's complement to this one, you will get post number. From that you'll get the value, and you place minus in front of that value. Okay. If less number of bits are there, put the positional weights, and since sign bit is one, you put minus here. Okay, and then simplify. Okay. So that means we have represented previously for plus five like this. Here now we have represented minus five in two's complement form like this: one zero double one with four bits. Okay. Now we want to represent the same minus five in eight bits. Okay. Here I have represented plus five in two's complement form with eight bits like this. Okay. Now I will apply two's complement to this one. Okay. Minus five equal to two's complement of. I will consider this number. Okay. Here I am having four zeros and then zero one zero one. Apply the same technique from right hand side to left hand side till you get first time one copy all the bits. Here also I am getting at the first bit itself I am getting value as one. Okay, I will copy that bit as it is, and then I will complement remaining bits. Here one zero one four ones. Okay, see here sign bit is one, which indicates net number. Okay. So I am having post number here. I have applied two's complement to this one. I got this one. So that means this is the two's complement representation of minus five with eight bits. Okay. 
Here I am having two complement representation of minus 5 with 4 bits. Here I have represented the same number with 8 bits. Just observe. Here 1011, here also 1011. Okay. Here I am having 4 ones. Here I am having 4 ones. Okay. So for negative numbers, okay, for negative numbers in two component form, what you have to do if you want to store the same number, okay, then you have to copy one that many times based upon your requirement to the left of the number. Here for positive numbers, we have placed 0 4 times when we want to store with 8 bits. Here I have considered the 4 bit number as it is and I have placed 4 more zeros to the left of this particular number. Similarly, for negative numbers, we have to place the sign bit. Here sign bit is 1. Okay, I have placed 4 more times. Okay, so just conclude from these two discussions. Here we have analyzed for positive numbers. Here we have analyzed for negative numbers. Okay, now we can conclude like this. Here I am having x3, x2, x1, x0. I have represented a number with 4 bits. Okay, now I want to store the same number with 8 bits. Here sign bit is x3. So I will place this x3 4 more times to the left of this number. Okay, just see here, your x3, x2, x1, x0 is like 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, here I have placed 0 4 more times. Okay, similarly here, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, I have placed 1 4 more times. Here x3, I have placed, okay, for the generalized case. Whatever the sign bit, if it is 0, you will place 4 more times 0. Okay, if it is 1, you will place 4 more times 1. Okay, based upon your requirement, you will place that many times you will place to the left of the sign bit. Okay. So that means option C is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. Okay. So sometimes you will get the questions like this. Okay. He will give a number. Okay. Like this in two's complement form. He will ask what is the equivalent value of this one. See, we have done forward analysis. Okay. If you do the reverse analysis, from that you will get the answer easily. Okay, even if you want to find out the equivalent value of the entire thing, you will get the same value by doing the reverse analysis. That means what? Just observe here for positive numbers. Okay, here sign bit is 0. That indicates positive number and remaining bits do the magnitude. Here, all these bits are 0 only. Right? Here sign bit is 0. Right? So that means this entire number equivalent value is same as this number. Yes sir? This entire number equivalent value is same as this number because here sign bit is 0, here I have placed 4 more times. Similarly here also, if you are supposed to find out the equivalent value of this number, okay, this entire number equivalent value that is minus 5 is same as the equivalent value of this one because here I have placed the sign bit 1 4 more times to the left of this particular number, right? If you do the simplification, you will get the value same minus 5 only. Okay. The equivalent value of this entire number is same as this number. Okay. 1011. Okay. So in this way, if you are supposed to find out the equivalent value of a number which is represented in two's component form, okay, you just observe. Okay. If you are having a sign bit 1, suppose, n number of times, okay. What you will do? You just consider like this. Okay. So whatever the sign bit 1, okay, he has placed n number of times to the left of this particular number, okay. You can ignore all these, all those bits, okay. So that means here whatever this entire number equivalent value is same as this one. Because here x3 is a sign bit, here also x3 is a sign bit. All these bits are same, x3 only, okay. So in this way, you can solve the questions, okay. Thank you and keep watching. 